So what do we learn from that? Number one, Revelation reveals the events of the last days are closely linked together. Look at verse one. It says that these things will shortly take place, or another translation, what must speedily happen. Now, there's some confusion about this verse because you might interpret this to say it will happen at any moment, yet how long ago was Revelation given to us? Well, about 2,000 years ago. But understand this verse is not referring to soonness, but to the quickness of execution when once there is a beginning. In fact, the word shortness could better be translated must come to pass with rapidity. In other words, the word that is used here is the word we get our English word tachometer from, and that is the instrument that measures the speed of an engine. So the idea is once it starts, it happens in rapid succession. Sort of like dominoes, shall I demonstrate? You probably were wondering what this is. We need some more light here if we can get some. But uh, you see these dominoes are all closely stacked together. And we can almost say that this first domino is uh, the rapture of the church and this next domino is the revelation of Antichrist and then we have following the Antichrist the great tribulation period and Magog is in here somewhere attacking Israel where God intervenes and then we have the a tribulation period, the abomination of desolation. Then moving on down, we have the two witnesses of appearing in Revelation. So once the first domino falls with uh, rapidity, with quickness, they all go. Shall we? So you tip the first one. And it's just like that, you see. That's all you're going to remember from this sermon, isn't it? <laughs> that was cool with the dominoes. The rest, eh. But that gives you an illustration. So it's not soonness like soonness in John's time, but once it starts, it doesn't stop. 